Black history. When you think of black history, you think of people like Frederick Douglass, from slave to father of the civil rights movement, an African-American social reformer, abolitionist, author, orator, and statesman. Born a slave, Douglass escaped at the age of 20 and went on to become a world-renowned anti-slavery activist. Black history. When you think of black history, you think of people like Harriet Tubman, born a slave, became a famous conductor on the Underground Railroad, returning 19 times to the South to lead her family and hundreds of other slaves to freedom. She served as a nurse, scout, and spy for the Union government. Black history. When you think of black history, you think of people like Madam C.J. Walker, first African-American woman self-made millionaire by making and marketing her own hair care products. She provided women with a way to become economically independent by selling her hair care products. First African-American woman self-made millionaire on a stand. Black history. When you think of black history, you think of people like Carter G. Woodson, Born in 1875, he was known as the father of black history, an African-American historian, author, journalist, and the founder of the Association for the Study of African-American Life and History. Because of Carter G. Woodson, the first Negro History Week was announced in February 1926. Black History. When you think of black history, you think of people like Martin Luther King Jr., leader of the 20th century civil rights movement, a Baptist preacher who fought for the rights of all people, where he used peaceful nonviolent marching to bring blacks and whites together for one common cause, equal rights for all men. When all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Black History 2018. Sharon Richards Trevelyan, one of Detroit's own born and raised first African-American woman to control major trucking projects. She is a second generation of aggregate haulers. She attributes foundational success to her parents, Johnny and Betty Jean Richards of Johnny Trucking, established in Detroit in 1957. Miss Trevelyan founded Richards Trucking Company in 1990. And like her African-American predecessors, she too felt the hammer of opposition. Her life was threatened. Subcontractor trucks torched. One would say this was because a woman controlled mass excavation construction projects. Richard's Trucking was making history as a woman owned and operated trucking firm who acquired major contracts for her firm, like stadiums, airports, commercial building. This woman is a real earth mover. Black History 2018 recognizes Detroit's own Sharon Richards Trevelyan as the first African-American woman to control the trucking projects.